I actually started moguls before the Olympics came here to Whistler, my hometown. And then when I saw just the whole event here, it was really magical and it really made me want to work towards that goal and be a part of it from the arena and not the stands. <laughs> I'm trying not to change too much. I'm um, just focusing on what I have to do and what I have to get better at and keep progressing, keep the momentum going, um, just building off of what I've, what I can do and what I've already done and just getting excited for something I've waited for for a really long time. Definitely a few different things. I'm more aware of my recovery and what I need to do a little bit better to avoid injury and just to keep my body as healthy as possible. I was really proud of my result in Kazakhstan. That was the world champs and my only goal there was to re-establish my, co my confidence in competition and just ski to my capability and I came out with a fourth, which was a new personal best. It was my comeback season since my knee injury in 2019, so it was really fun to be back in the gate and back in that feeling of nerves and pressure and being around my teammates and being in a competitive environment. Yeah, it was really fun. It's just, it's just crazy how long you work on this and I, I've just been wanting to be here for the past 10 years and now it's just around the corner and um, I'm just really excited to, to finally try to qualify for something that I've really wanted to do for a really long time. I think participating in the Olympics is success in itself, like that's my, my goal is to be at the Olympics, but I definitely want to show up not just as a participant, but as a competitor and whatever results I have, I'll be really happy with and hopefully it's a good one. <laughs>